discussions about these classes and, and, and categorizing them. The way that I think of environmental is how do humans impact the environment and how does the environment impact humans? And so we can't, to understand that, we really need to understand the earth processes, the physical processes that give the coastlines their unique characteristics. Why is these coasts different from the West Coast? You know, sea level rise is happening. We're not going to stop it. We're not the first group of humans to deal with this question. And I think that the Venetians provide us with a very good example of having done that. How do you create foundations for buildings? How do you build buildings that are light enough to be supported by those foundations? It's very relevant to Boston and where Boston is right now in its history. And, you know, you think about, well, Back Bay is <laughs> named Back Bay because mm -hmm. it is was the Back Bay that was filled. And so with rising sea level, how is Boston going to respond? How have humans transformed disadvantages of an inhospitable environment into advantages that were political, economic, and since we're an art history course, cultural advantages. We'll do a field trip on Cape Cod. So we can look at examples in sort of the pristine setting, and then, you know, we're hoping to do an urban field trip and explore the Boston waterfront. One of the things that our students will gain is uh, a stronger sense of place and new ways to think about place. It's important to the majority of students because most of them will be living in uh, coastal states, coastal communities, citizens that are going to have to pay for the protection of these areas or rebuilding them.